What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today I'm gonna to talk about Alexa for Business. I'm gonna walk you through the process of creating an Alexa for Business skill and then inviting users in to access your private Alexa for Business skill. Now, what is an Alexa for Business skill? It is a private skill that is only available to members of your organization. Things you'll need for this will be an Amazon AWS account, with Alexa for Business enabled, and I'll talk a little bit about this in this tip. And you're also gonna need an Amazon either Blueprints account or Alexa Developer Console account, both of which you can use to deploy an Alexa for Business skill. So let's get started. Here on my screen, you can see that I have already made a skill in uh, a Blueprint. Now you can do this in the Amazon Alexa Developer Console as well. And in the Distribution tab, you can select Alexa for Business as you're distributing your skill for certification. But um, in the Blueprint console, you're gonna go to the skills you've made and click Manage Access. It's gonna ask you for an organization ARN number. Now this will be the same number that you would need if you were doing this in the Alexa Developer console. So to find your ARN number, you're actually gonna go over to your Amazon AWS account and you are going to, from the top main menu, enable Alexa for Business. Now when you enable Alexa for Business, uh, after you do that, you can click on Skills and then go to the Private Skills tab and click Show IAMARN Number. So you can copy it and paste it back into the uh, Private Skills section or the Manage My Access section of your Alexa skill that you built either in a blueprint or in the Alexa developer console. And then you'll click add and it'll get a confirmation message and click finish. And then you will see that uh, your Alexa for Business organizations has been distributed to that particular ARN, AWS IAM number. Um, and then you can go back over into your Alexa for Business account underneath your AWS account and now here's where you can invite users in to use your private skill. So what you're gonna do is uh, refresh the page and go over to private skills, and then you should see your skill showing up there uh, that has just been created, there it is. And uh, all you need to do is click review because it's waiting on review. So this means that it's waiting on the company owner within the AWS account who can deploy it to employees to enable it. So you'll click the enable button and then you'll get a message that says you've successfully enabled this skill and now you can add this skill to a skill group. So now what you're gonna do under skills and then enabled skills, you'll check the box next to your skill. Once you check the box, you'll see the orange button, add skill to skill group. And then once you do that, you are gonna be able to create a skill group. Now you'll create a skill group by going over into your left-hand navigation menu and clicking skill groups, and then the orange button, create skill group. You'll name it, just name it something that you want uh, everybody to be able to access. So in this case, it could be sales team, it could be operations team, it could be new employees, depending on who you want this particular Alexa skill content to go to. I'm gonna go with operations and then click the create button, operations team, give it a description so that we don't forget who this skill is for. I'm gonna put a test group in this case and then click create. And then boom, there we go, we have a skill group. Okay, now all you have to do is go over to users in the left-hand navigation menu and under users, you'll see a message that says, before you can invite users to join your Alexa for Business organization, you must configure the details of the invitation email on the user invitation page. So you'll click user invitation page link, and now you'll see your user invitation. This is what users are going to get in an email when you invite them to access the private Alexa for Business skill. You can click the edit button to edit this message down on the lower right hand side. So that's how you invite users into the skill. Now if you want to invite devices into the skill, you can click shared devices and import devices. So this is where you can buy company devices and register them and import them to give them access to the skill. But in this data-driven daily tip, we're showing you how to add users. You are going to add a contact email address 
within the skill invite tab and that way uh, your users will have uh, someone to contact if they have any trouble accessing the skill within your organization. This could be the business owner, the IT owner. So after you've configured the user invitations, now all you have to do is click users over on the left hand side and then invite user, put in their first name, last name and email address and send the invite. So now you have invited your users. After you've invited your users, under the settings and user invitations within AWS Alexa for Business on the left hand side, you can click on user invitations and you can see the status. So you can see Paul at datadriven.design, in this case Todd.herman at elementh.com have been invited. And now I'm going to show you the user experience of what the user sees on their device on a phone. So you can see that. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like when a user has enrolled. So now in this case, the user has successfully um, enabled the skill in their Alexa app, as you saw on that screen cast from my mobile device. And now you can see that um, both of my test users, my data-driven design email address and my uh, Paul J. Hickey at me.com have successfully enrolled into Alexa for Business. So it's a bit of a process. But once you've got it all set up for your organization, it's really, really easy and you can add skills, you can create Alexa skills, you can make them private, put in your, your Amazon resource number and you're good to go. My friends, this has been your Data Driven Daily Tip. For more free digital marketing tips, go to dataoveropinions.com and don't forget to check out thevoicedesigner.com where you can build a voice app a Google Action and an Alexa skill from the back end of your WordPress admin dashboard. Super easy. Also, don't forget that you don't even have to log into Google Analytics anymore to check your web data. You can just ask Alexa. For more information on this, go to askdatadrivendesign.com. This has been your Data Driven Daily Tip. Thanks and have a great day. Hey.